Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and let's review. Let's go! Okay, let's have this item. How many sides does a regular polygon have if an exterior angle measures 45 degrees? So, para masagutan natin tong item na to, so we know that the sum of the exterior angle of a polygon is 360 degrees. So, ang gagawin natin is we will divide 360 degrees by the given exterior angle dun sa ating problem. So, we will divide it by 45 degrees. So, 360 divided by 45, that will be equal to 8. So, the regular polygon na merong exterior angle of 45 degrees is 8-sided polygon. So, it is a regular octagon. So, to answer this item, it is letter C, an 8-sided polygon. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have this item. The ratio of an interior angle to an exterior angle of a regular polygon is 5 is to 1. How many sides does a regular polygon have? So, para masagutan natin tong item na to, we know that the relationship between the exterior and the interior angle is that they are a linear pair and also supplementary. So, since supplementary angle sila, the sum of these two angles, exterior and interior angles sa polygon, will be equal to 180 degrees. Now, we have the ratio of the interior and exterior angle. So, we have 5 is to 1. So, convert natin to into a variable. So, 5x will represent as our interior angle. And 1x is the representation of our exterior angle. So, pag in natin tong dalawang to, dapat mag equal siya sa 180 degrees. So, we add 5x and 1x, that will be 6x, is equal to 180 degrees. Then, let's divide both sides by 6. That will give us x is equal to 30 degrees. And 30 degrees will be our exterior angle. Now, para makuha natin kung anong regular polygon yung meron tayo na may 30 degrees na exterior angle, so, we know that the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees. So, ang gagawin natin is we divide 360 degrees by the value of our exterior angle, which is 30. So, divide natin and that will give us 12. And that will be the number of sides that we will have for this polygon. So, to answer our item number 2, it will be letter B. It is a 12-sided polygon. Polygon. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have this item. Which of the following has the biggest exterior angle? So, para masagutan natin tong item na to, lista natin lahat ng given na polygon. So, we have a regular, pentagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. Tapos, kailangan natin kunin yung number of sides nila and we will compute for their exterior angle. So, first, kunin natin yung ating number of sides ni pentagon. So, we have 5 sides for pentagon. And to get the exterior angle, for each exterior angle, we will just simply divide 360 by the number of sides. So, 360 divided by 5, the value of one exterior angle is 72 degrees. Tapos, punta naman tayo kay octagon. Octagon has 8 sides. So, divide natin si 360 by 8 to get the value of the exterior angle. So, that will give us 45 degrees. Next, let's proceed to nonagon. So, nonagon has 9 sides. So, divide natin si 360 by 9. So, 360 divided by 9 is 40 degrees. Now, punta naman tayo kay decagon. Okay, so we have 10 sides. Tapos, divide natin 360 divided by 10. So, that will give us 36 degrees. Now, tignan natin kung ano yung pinakamalaking exterior angle. And that is the regular pentagon. So, to answer our item, it will be letter A, regular pentagon. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay, let's have this item. How many distinct angles are formed by the rays in the given figure? So, so, para masagutan tong item na to, gagamit tayo ng formula. And our formula is n times the quantity n minus 1 all over 2. Where 
n is equal to the number of rays present in our figure. So, para masagutan natin to, bilangin natin yung ating rays. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, apat na rays tayo. So, let's replace all variable n by 4. So, 4 times the quantity 4 minus 1 all over 2. Simplify natin. That will give us 4 times 3 divided by 2. So, 12 over 2. 12 divided by 2 will be equal to 6. So, to answer this item, makakabuo tayo ng 6 angles dito sa ating figure. And that's it! Tara! Alright! Let's have this item. What is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of an octagon? So, para makuha natin tong sum of the measures of the interior angles of an octagon, we have a formula for that. So, ang formula natin is quantity n minus 2 times 180 where n is equal to the number of sides. So, yung octagon, meron siyang 8 sides. So, substitute lang natin to sa formula natin. We have 8 minus 2 times 180. So, we will have 6 times 180. It will give us a total of 1,080 degrees na sum of the measures of the interior angle of our octagon. So, to answer our item number 5, it is letter D, 1,080 degrees. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.